In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. This is for the second week in a row. We we'll read the parable of the sower. And the parable of the sower is usually mentioned in the month of November. And by the way, yani before we continue, I don't, we don't really want a lot of noise in the church. Yani the phones, the people who are greeting each other, the talking, this is not the church. The church should be quiet. And if my child is making noise, I can take him outside until they calm down and break them back. So for two weeks in a row, the parable of the sower, the church focuses on it because in actually in the Palestine area, right after autumn, this is when the people go out in the month of November and actually seed. So this is common for them at this time that they will actually go and seed. One of the things that you will see today in the parable of the sower If the children is making noise, take them outside, they will come down. One of the things they will see in the parable of the sower is what happens right after the passage we read today. What happened after the passage we read today? The disciples went to Jesus. And I'm very sorry, it's hard for me to concentrate when kids are, are, are loud. Please, Habibi, if your kids are talking, take them outside until they calm down. You can bring them back after the sermon. So you will see Kida in the parable of the sower, the response of Jesus after the parable is very interesting. The disciples went and told him, Our Lord, why are you teaching people in parable? Why are you teaching them in parable? And what did Jesus say? He said, because they don't understand. Jesus is saying that when people don't understand, he does not become more obvious. He becomes more mysterious. When people don't understand, you should explain better. You should give them an easier example. You should try to tell them exactly what you're trying to say. And Jesus said, no. I'm actually going to become more difficult to find. Why? Because Jesus said, the problem with understanding is not with intelligence. The problem with understanding is with the human willingness to obey the word of God. Look at the disciples today. The disciples didn't understand many of the things in, in their life. But one thing happened when Jesus told them, follow me. They followed him. Do you understand what you're doing? No. Do you understand how far you're going to go? No. Do you understand what is that commandment you're following will take you to? How much sacrifice it will take you? No. Your family, your friends, your ego, your pride? No. I don't know how much. I'm going to follow. That's why Jesus told them to you. It's given for you to know the words openly. Because you have obeyed. Imagine how different our life would be if we actually listen to the word of God. Not our own words. Not our own understanding. How different, where, how far would we be today if we actually seek what God wants? 
the disciples were given to know the mysteries of heaven. Mysteries of heaven. And others are confused. Because God doesn't reveal the whole path to us. He says, are you willing to obey? Yes, come and I'll show you. Everything, no. Every day I'll show you something different. Every day I will teach you something different. I remember a beautiful story Kida Abuna Lua Sadaros mentioned it one time. He said he had a professor, he was a professor, engineering professor, and one of his co-worker, he was also another professor, he's Christian. And they invited him to give a talk in the church. And he said people after the talk kept asking questions about the Bible. He said that professor knew nothing. They asked him about any stories in the Old Testament, nothing. But then Abuna said after the lecture, told him, I was confused. You don't really know, or you're trying to be humble. Allah, look, to be honest with you, I have read Matthew 5, 6, 7, and 8, the Sermon on the Mount. And he told them, every day I read the Sermon on the Mount. He told them, I can't even feel I am 1% into applying that sermon in my life. I didn't, I didn't even get a chance to feel I can move on after I came to the Sermon on the Mount. This is somebody who took the word of God and wants to listen, wants to let it sink in their life. The sad part, the dangerous part, look what Jesus said. This is later. If you go home, read the next few verses after. Jesus said, he said, those who have, those who have, will be given more that they may have in abundance. And those who don't have, even what was given to them will be taken from them. Wow. Those who have, those who listen, those who follow, more will be given to them. And those who kept rejecting and kept ignoring and kept listening to their own voices, even what was given to them will be taken from them. There will be a time that they will not be able to hear the voice of God. There will be a time that they will not be able to enjoy the grace that once was offered to them. Because they received the word and they did not hear. This is a very, very, very serious parable that God is giving us. He's saying if you don't listen, at some point you're not going to be able to listen. And you hear this a lot when people say, for example, yeah, I, I hear sermons, it doesn't affect me anymore. People who have living with, lived with God for many years, the most simplest thing affects your heart. Abuna Lua, in one of his book about the story of current saints, he said there was a monk who would come once a year to visit the church, and he said he would go visit that monk, and every time we go meet him, he asked us to read for him the story of the saints, and he always loved us, the life of Saint Marina. He said every time we read for him the life of Saint Marina, He's crying. How many times he heard it? He said he's an elderly monk. If I say the liturgy is the same every time, if I say the word of God is the same every time, then I'm not listening. I'm not changing. I'm not trying to allow God to work in my life. That's why God said, hey, even what you have will be taken from you. Even the old days, when you had the desire to listen and to follow, and all that will be taken away from you. It's a very dangerous situation. I remember a while ago, I was talking to one of the youth. He's been on and off from church. So I was telling him, yani, we have been, we want to see you more and stuff. Ali, look, you don't have to worry about me. To the why? 
قال لي when I was young I have seen Saint Mary and I have seen قاعد يقول لي بقى كل السنس اللي هي صح فقال لي I love God so much okay five six years passed by I don't see him at all I talked to him he's been almost at last I talked to him two years he haven't gone into the church You've seen saints. Your life was moved. What happened? It's not about it's not about the physical that we do with our eyes. It's about my obedience to the word of God. God today he is giving an an a critical parable. He want to know You need to obey the word of God and let it work in your life. Otherwise, at some point, we're not going to be able to hear. Glory be to God forever and ever.